Um, this is a look at the new extruder um, system of the 85X. Um, there's been complaints that the nozzles won't be compatible. There's a good reason for that. When you see it, you'll probably be happy with the change. But like everything, some people obviously don't like any change. Firstly, the cover. If you bump it or pull it, there is no wires. There's connectors here that plug in there. So that's the first thing. If it falls off, there's no wires to tangle. That's the cutter that cuts things. That's the heat sink. And there is the rubber boot. So if you open that up, you can see you can take the heat sink away. No tools needed. We then get to the rubber, rubber boot, which I'm not left handed. There we go. There's the nozzle. There's the clip. That's the nozzle out. So there you go. That's the new nozzle. And I must say I'm impressed because literally what I'm seeing there um, is uh, something that's simple, very, very quick to change. Put it in place. Clip it shut, which with my wrong hand is a bit hard, but uh, trust me, it's easy enough to clip shut. There we go, that's shut. Click that. Grab the rubber boot. Feed that on. As you can see, that's all done. There you go. So, much, much better system. Um, there's just lots of little bits of improvement in design. That has certainly been one of them. Uh, I have had some broken... Um, TPU in the cables where it was a bit old and brittle and to get into it I could unclip it both ends poke the poke through and uh, clear the TPU no worries at all which is very handy because TPU tends to bunch where it doesn't like being pushed it only likes being pulled but it wasn't too much of a drama certainly nothing like what I've uh, experienced trying with some of the other print systems um, so uh, yeah there you go that's the new printhead